Welcome. In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy M10 and I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification. So assuming the device is locked. Um, to basically proceed with it, we will need to go to the site, as you can see, uh, find the, the phone, and from here you will need to download all this, uh, Odin, Samsung, and basically all the six links, and uh, we will need all of them. As you can see, I have already all of them here. Um, now, once you download them, install most certainly this one, because it's an installation for for this program to work correctly with the phone and also Samsung drivers and also um, when you download uh, the normal files I would start probably with this link because it will take the longest to download it's one of the bigger ones so it will take some time to download and uh, once it's actually downloaded you can proceed so starting starting the process off we will run Odin as you can see and uh, we will need to put the device in download mode, which we will do by powering it off. And you need a cable plugged into the computer. And once it's plugged into the computer, you will hold the volume up and down and then plug it to your phone, like so. As you can see, warning message pops up, just tap on volume up to continue. And we are now in download mode and as you just seen on the screen the the program sees the phone right here and what we will need to do is add an ap file which is the second uh, link right here so i'm gonna tap on ap and i'm gonna navigate to that directory i'm gonna choose it and uh, you need to wait for it to actually up upload to the program. It might take a minute. And uh, once it's gonna upload, we're just gonna tap on start and uh, the file is gonna begin installing on the device. Yeah, as you can see now it's done and we can tap on start and you just see on the device progress bar popped up so let's give it a couple of minutes for it and to for it to install and uh, from there we can while we wait we can turn on the number four frp unlocker as long as you have installed uh, the drivers for it overall the link uh, Number six, which is this one, this will work. So once it reboots, we'll see the device right here up here. Info about it, and uh, then we can tap on unlock. Yeah, as you can see, restart and pass. You can unplug it from the device for now, for a moment. We will need to plug it back in anyway. Okay, yeah. so once you see this, you can plug it back in. As you can see, it just appeared on the in the program. It's recognized, so we can tap on unlock. And once it's unlocked, you can close the program. It's not needed anymore. Okay, so success. Close it. And now, power it off and unplug it actually again because we need to put it back into the download mode. So power it off, volume up and down together. And while you hold it up there, plug it in again. Then volume up once and we're back in download mode. And we're going back to the Odin. So from here, we're gonna choose the Samsung normal files, which is link number three. 
and uh, we're gonna start with basically placing them as their their name so bl just choose bl file ap ap now the ap file takes a little bit longer because it's one of the bigger files so be patient So from there, I'm gonna choose CP. Okay, now that everything is added, we're gonna tap on start. And basically the Samsung's Android is gonna start installing on a device, so be patient. Now it will take a little bit longer than previously. It has a little bit more to install, so I'll be back once it reboots. Okay, as you can see, um, the installation has been finished, so we can unplug the device now. And I'm gonna place it up. And from here, we're gonna go through the setup process fairly quickly because we actually need to do one more thing. So, next. Okay, so now we'll need to go into settings and activate developer mode. So let's do so. Yeah, uh, go all the way down into about phone. Is it? Well, I'm gonna search it. I think it's gonna be faster. So. I'm gonna type build number. Okay, build number. As you can see, it's right here. So if you have trouble finding it, you can do the same. Just type it in and then tap it seven times until you see the message you are now a developer that appeared on the bottom. From here, we can go one down. And right now, the last thing you will see is developer option. So from here, tap on it and you will see the OEM unlock. So reason it's supposed to be disabled um, but it's not so it should be for you disabled I'm not really actually sure why it's not here so just disable it and tap it again and you'll see this factory data data reset so tap on it again and wait for the device to go through another reset and uh, this time it once it's finished you can actually set up your device the way you like it and uh, the process will be finished at that point. So we're gonna just wait some more time till, till it's finished and uh, and go through the process once once it's actually visible. Okay, and as you can see, now we're again on the setup screen and from here, you can go through the normal setup process as you would normally. So you can select the network, 
and continue. Now once this is actually, once you're on this step that we're right now, uh, everything that you actually downloaded, you can remove it. It's not gonna be needed anymore, so yeah. From here, we can put in the email. So I'm gonna put mine. And uh, I'm gonna tap on next here and then put in the password, so let me do that. Okay, and once I press next, I have this screen, so just agree to the terms of service of Google. I'm not gonna restore from anything, just set it up as a new device. Um, you can set up some pattern, password, um, some kind of protection way. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna choose pattern for example. So let's continue, draw the pattern, then draw it once more to confirm it. Okay, continue. More Google Terms of Service, backup. Okay. From here you can check that on or off. If you keep it checked on as it is, it's gonna actually be finishing a little bit longer. So for the sake, I'm gonna actually disable it so we can get to the main screen a little bit quicker. Okay. And as you can see, all done. And now the device is fully unlocked, ready to use without any problem. And you can, can go, actually we already added a Google account, so it will be the new one visible here. So, as you can see, it's the one that I added previously and the setup screen and everything is working fine. If you have any questions, uh, leave them down in the comments and uh, if everything went well, yes, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video.